Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the remarkable artist Francois Boucher. Born in Paris in 1703, Boucher's talent and passion for art emerged from an early age. Growing up in a city bustling with creativity and innovation, he found inspiration in both the bustling streets and the elegance of the French court. As a young apprentice, Boucher honed his skills under the guidance of his father, a master painter. These formative years laid the foundation for his artistic journey, shaping his perception and technique. In his early twenties, Boucher secured a position as the official painter of Madame de Pompadour, the influential mistress of King Louis XV. This connection thrust him into the heart of the artistic scene, exposing him to the grandeur and opulence of the royal court. The experiences and connections he made during this time had a profound influence on Boucher's work. His art reflects the extravagance and grace that permeated the courtly atmosphere. Whether it was in his mythical depictions or his portrayals of exquisite landscapes, he sought to capture the beauty and splendor that surrounded him. One of Boucher's notable works, Chinoiserie, created in 1750, is a prime example of his inspiration from the East. The delicate figures, colorful scenery, and intricate details transport us to a world of oriental allure. This fascination with the exotic permeates many of Boucher's pieces, drawing us into fantastical realms far beyond our everyday lives. In Apollo revealing his divine origin to the shepherdess Ursa, completed in the same period, Boucher skillfully brings together mythology and romance. The expressive play of light and shade, the dreamlike quality of the setting, and the enchanting expressions of the characters reveal his ability to captivate the viewer and ignite their imagination. But Boucher's artistic genius extended beyond mythological and romantic themes. He also excelled in portraying the human form, as can be seen in The Bath of Venus and The Toilette of Venus. In these works, the softness of the flesh, the sensuality of the poses, and the delicate brushstrokes convey a profound appreciation for the female form. Throughout his career, Boucher's versatility and technical skills allowed him to explore a wide range of subjects. From landscapes like Landscape with a Bridge and the Mill to historical events like Saving the Baby Pyrrhus and the Rape of Europe, he transported us to different worlds, inviting us to immerse ourselves in their beauty and drama. Francois Boucher's remarkable journey as an artist reflects his time, his experiences, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. As you explore his mesmerizing works, let yourself be transported into a world where romance, mythology, and beauty collide.